Applying clean makeup does not have to be complicated or time-consuming. Votrevu has taken the guesswork and the stress out by giving you the highest quality tools to get the job done. Let me show you how easy and quick it can be to look your best in just 10 short minutes. Typically, women apply their moisture tint and concealer first, which is not necessarily wrong, but we're going to get started with the eyes. This is simply going to make our job easier. Any falling shadow can be quickly cleaned up by using Vu's Sweep with a cotton pad. Eyeshadow base is a must to even out the thin skin on the lid and to hold your eyeshadow all day. We're applying lingerie pour la you to the entire lid from the lash line to the brow bone. Moving on to the eyeshadow, now I'm going to take my base or my lightest color, chiffon, and we're going to apply it to the entire lid. Very soft from the lash line to the brow bone. We're going to now add definition to the lid by applying the beautiful rich color more. Take your eyeshadow brush, gently tap it into your color, tap off any excess and apply it to the lid. This is a very rich color. A little bit goes a long way. Make sure to blend into the crease. We're going for a little bit more glamour, so I'm going to take this color to get a beautiful smoky lid. Make sure when you're using richer colors that you blend them out for no harsh edges. You can apply as much or as little as you like to get the color depth that you want to achieve. And now let's line the eyes. You have several great options here. You can use a gel pencil, such as Le Jolie Crayon, or your eyeshadow. I'm going to use black velvet with an eyeshadow brush. Take your brush, apply directly to the lash line. Starting at the outer corner, work your way in all the way across the lash line to the inner corner. The eyeshadow brush will give you a nice, smoky eyeliner. Now we'll define the brow. Using our brow definer, Arch to Triumph, in the shade Fair, we're going to simply fill in her brows gently, light feathery strokes going in the same direction as the hair, using our spoolie end to pull the color through and blend it out. What's wonderful about Arch to Triumph is it's water resistant, covers those pesky grays, and lasts all day. Finish by applying a couple of generous coats of Eiffel Power on the top lashes and the bottom if desired. Now we will perfect the skin. We also have a couple of options for application here. Using our Love Me Do Moisture Tint, we're going to use our Votrevu Powder Brush. We're going to concentrate application in the center of the face where more coverage is needed. The Votrevu Powder Brush is a great option for a quick, less messy application, or you can simply use your fingers in a sponge if needed. After applying Love Me Do Moisture Tint, we're going to go ahead and apply our concealer, starting at the inner corner of the eye and working our way down the nose, where we sometimes have redness and broken capillaries. Take your ring finger, melt the color out, from the inner corner of the eye to the outer corner of the eye, being very gentle so as not to pull on this most sensitive area. Make sure to blend well at the outer corner so there's not too much product where we might have fine lines and wrinkles so as not to emphasize that area. Now, I'm setting the moisture tint and concealer with Belle Poudre, our beautiful HD finish powder. This powder will give you a smoother appearance to your makeup, help your makeup to last longer, and it's a great base for your bronzers and blushes. For contour and warmth, apply our beautiful matte Universal Bronzer. This bronzer looks great on absolutely all skin shades. I like to apply it to the contours of the cheek, the forehead, nose, and chin. This is where you'd be gently kissed by the sun. 
Now we're gonna brighten the cheeks by adding Vu on Rouge. You can use the Votre Vu powder brush or apply directly from the tube onto the cheek and gently blend with your finger. And now for the grand finale, the lips. We're gonna start with our dramatic lip liner. I prefer during the day to stick with more neutral colors, like naked. We're gonna line the natural contour of the lip and then fill it in. Filling in your lips with the liner gives both your lipstick and lip gloss extra staying color. Now we're ready to apply our hydrating French Kiss lipstick. I'm using our shade Lulu. Beautiful pale color to balance out our deep and rich smoky eye. And now to complete the look and add a stunning three-dimensional finish, we'll use our demure gloss on top of her lipstick and lip liner. And there you have it, 10 minutes for a fresher face to you. Swing, swing, swing,